what we owe This, the song of sons and daughters Hide the heart of There it is, me. boom Making peace to build our future Strong, united, working till we fold The air and water flowing Heart, see how long we last We're gonna leapfrog off the fast movers. Come on, Defender, take us in. I guess they just spool up a new server for us. a while ago and that promise was to a group of folks that went on a major adventure with me to the pyro jump gate in stanton turned out we found a station we found a work in progress jump gate and customs area and we found one of the well the first time in the history of of, of our community that we actually found the edge of ue space and I got to say, it was an incredible experience. Uh, if you don't recognize this, if you've been to the Pyro Jump Gate, and you're going, the, the Pyro Stanton Jump Gate doesn't look like this. Well, uh, more particularly Stanton Pyro Jump Gate, I think, on the list now. But uh, this was the pre-render. This was never supposed to be found. This was a, uh, put into the game as a work in progress files, and uh, we found it. And uh, uh, <laughs> boy, did we find it. <laughs> And I, I got to tell you that this is the reason I love the Star Citizen community. This is why I stick around. And I left in some audio clips uh, from a few of the folks that I was rolling with. And I'm going to try not to drop any names here. I want to thank you for the crew that I was with. But this video is more geared towards everyone in that community. I hope that you all appreciate this video, uh, at least uh, trying to capture a little bit of that craziness that was that night on the first night of hours and hours that we were journeying into the unknown uh, to just find something new. And uh, this isn't the first exploration content in Star Citizen, but it certainly was the most developed and uh, certainly the most exciting, uh, unlocking a brand new chapter uh, and heralding in possibly even a whole new star system. When we went through that pyro gate area, we weren't quite sure what we'd find. <laughs> and uh, we kept our feet firmly planted in Stanton for the record, but I got to tell you that it was amazing. And I want to thank the, uh, the, the many people who came out into the party 
Uh, I note in this video that there were 63. At the, that was the 63 people at that moment. We had people that ducked out. We had people that came in later. We had people that came and went. We had people that just had some issues with their computer and they had to resolve them and then they came back. So uh, this was really something that maxed people out and uh, really showed the strength of the community to resolve to keep going because we just kept leapfrogging and leapfrogging. The servers were dropping like rocks and sometimes they would survive and sometimes they wouldn't. Uh, we had bedloggers that we were trying to encourage people to bedlog and just uh, stay AFK sitting in somebody's voice chat and hanging out uh, just for the sake of trying to give us some kind of um, sanity instead of trying to do quantum slingshotting and such and all sorts of other techniques to try to get in here. Um, it was a wild night. So that's what I've got. Uh, this is my first attempt at using uh, licensed music. So while I did pay for this music, I want to recognize uh, that this is uh, a performance that was not done by me. So uh, yeah, I'm sure you, you figured that out on your own. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I would say that uh, th if this works out, this will probably be something that I will continue to do. So this performance of this this song is, is special to me. Um, I'll be honest. Uh, I, I I you know I was hoping to get the one that's actually in the game, uh, but. Uh, Freya, Catherine, you did an amazing job, and uh, we all live together, and I'm happy that I couldn't get the original, because I think that this rendition of it was just wonderful, and uh, if anybody is looking for licensed music, I think it's a very fair, uh, very fair price that, that uh, her, her work has put on it, and uh, the group that she performs with uh, did a great job. I hope to see more of this uh, in the burgeoning sector of the creator music section of YouTube. Um, so, yeah, I think I've always told you all that uh, I don't hide anything. Um, and that's probably going to bite me someday if I ever get uh, into like, you know, bigger numbers and such. But that's not me. Uh, so as I learn YouTube, uh, if any of you are out there uh, trying to get taking notes, uh, trying to get your own channel started, I'm always available. I'll answer your questions uh, down in the comments below, uh, on Discord, on Reddit. And uh, more importantly, I'm literally telling you right now, so you don't even have to ask me. <laughs> uh, but still, a like or thank you in the comments would be appreciated. <laughs> it, it makes me feel good to see that people really appreciate the content. And it gives me uh, some, like, some level of like where I need to go next. Uh, so this was a, this video specifically, as I, I think I had, I think I hit it at the beginning of this little commentary, uh, was a commitment. I had, oh goodness, let's actually live take a look. I don't usually do this too much. Usually I'm just clicking around to keep myself like, uh, thinking and, and it's, it helps me, helps me free, uh, go through the process, but I'm actually going to look and that might, might work out, might not. Let's take a look at my long-term storage. Uh, so right now I'm looking at my Pyro jump gate folder and I have 28.1 gigabytes of data of raw files, not counting this project, not counting that song, not counting this voiceover <laughs> of the finished files and the cover that I'll be creating. So uh, it was a 28 gigabyte file that was just sitting in my M2 drive. Uh, uh, begging to get done. And at the same time, I I, I kind of had writer's block trying to think of how do I capture this moment? How do I really make people feel what we felt that night? At least a little bit, just, just, a, just a little hint of the experience. And uh, when I made this video, when I cut together all the different shots, I purposely left in huge groups in the party tons of ships locked locked up a lot of people brought out some of their best and brightest ships and remember they had to respawn a couple times so uh sometimes we brought in different ships that's why you'll note that at one point i'm in a 600i not a not a carrick literally i carrick uh at least one or two dcs but they i stayed on grid came back third one i think knocked me out completely 
The Carrick was used because we had medical. We didn't have to worry about food and water. Uh, if you die, you just respawn right on the ship. Uh, Multi-party, so if one person DCs, which happened a couple times, we'd be okay. Uh, but um, the final thing was that the whole server went down and they didn't have any recovery for the next server. So I had to use a 600i. Then that crashed one more time and we ended up back on the Carrick. So that was kind of the game. And once again, I'm trying to avoid going through like every single person. But uh, yeah, the group that was with me, we know who you are. Thank you. I'm not sure if I would have kept up with this throughout it if it wasn't for you guys around. Um, one of the things about this is, once again, the word community. And uh, I can remember being a teenager and exploring like every single facet of San Andreas. So, yes, GTA 6 trailer got me thinking. And uh, I can remember the it was kind of hollow because you're solo. You're always solo. It's always the your adventure. Even when you brought your friends over, it was really not much to it. Like, you know, okay, cool. There's a hangar full of planes. And it was like, you can't convey how hard it was to find all these things and squeeze them all in there. And uh, literally, even just when you're first starting out, earning the the, the, the credits to, to buy that property. Um, whereas like when you're playing with a group, uh, it's different. It hits different and I, I know that might be overused but I'm, I'm just gonna say it and it's that much more rewarding when you all can share that experience and some of that to me is one of the reasons i got into making videos is because i like sharing those emotional experiences with groups and and i, I hope that shines through uh very well uh at least most of the time <laughs> All right, I've been going on a little bit, and uh, yes, once again, thank you to my learning subscribers for sticking around. Take care.